Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Master Kids number 205. Master Kids number 205. Sorry. Let me scoot back. Alright, so here, here we have a problem that's based on a math contest problem. I just made a slightly different one that was on the math contest, but here it is. Evaluate. 30 times 40 times 50 times 60 divided by 3 times 10 times 25 times 20. Okay. Ooh, this looks crazy. So, what do you think you want to do here? Well, multiplying all of them together might take too long. Multiplying all of them together seems kind of like a bad idea. And on a math contest, that probably would not usually be the right, right approach. So yeah. what do you want to do? Well, we could find easy numbers like 30 and 3 to divide by. Or okay. Like 30 divided by 3. Alright, so what would be a good way to write this first? This one? Or the whole thing? This whole expression. What would be a good way to rewrite that expression so it would be a little easier to deal with? We can write it as 30 times 40 times 50 times 60 over. Okay, that's a better way to write it. 3, three times 10 times 25 20. times 20. Okay. So this is a little bit easier to, to think about how to, how to deal with this. And now what can you do? Well, we can get some zeros out of, out of the way. Maybe not yet. We could do 30 over 3. Okay, what's that? That leaves us a 10 on top. Okay, so maybe you can just write it down here. Just, so 30 divided by 3 is 10. What do you want to do next? 40 over 10 is 4. 40 over 10 is 4. Fifty over twenty-five is two. Two. And sixty over twenty is thirty. Sixty over twenty. That's it's three. Ooh, three. Okay. Sixty over twenty is three. Oh, so this very complicated expression just came down to multiplying ten times four times two times three. Now, is there a quick way to do that? There's 2 times 3 is 6. Maybe there's even quicker. Even quicker. Two times three is we could just do it. Ten times four is forty. It is forty times six, which is two forty. Yeah, so why didn't you write that down? Okay. So Let's think about how to approach a problem like this. If you were if you were doing a math contest, for example, is anyone ever going to want you to multiply out a whole big bunch of numbers and divide them by a whole bunch of other numbers? No. No. So you, the first thing you should say is, oh, there must be something, some easier way to do this. So you write it how you would normally see dividing, right? Yeah. Now, because these are all multiplications, you can simplify as you go along. If it was all plus, if it was 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 divided by 3 plus 10 plus 25 plus 20, could you simplify? No. No, you would have to add together before you simplified. Okay? Yeah. Here you can simplify though. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 50 divided by 25 is 2. 60 divided by 20 is 3. And now we just have to multiply this out. Now, Multiplying by 10 is the easiest thing to do, right? So you probably would want to do that last. 2 times 3 is? 6. 6 times 4 is? 24. 24 times 10 is? 240. 240. Now, it's not that hard to do it the other way, but just make your, make your life a little easier. Instead of saying 40 times 2 is 80, 80 times 3 is 240, say it's 6 <coughs> times 4 times 10. Okay? Yeah. So this isn't a hard problem at all. I think on the, on the contest you had three minutes for this, so you do have to kind of go quick, 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 quick. But recognize that I, I don't, you know, who won't, nobody wants you to multiply out. That's not all that interesting. So you just have to recognize what the quick way to do this is, and in the end of the day, you get 240. Okay? Yep. Good job, honey.